Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. I almost said Dragon Age Origins. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, so I think really quick, sorry, I, I need to stop saying um. I am going to upgrade this hammer if I can. Not quite sure where... Under inventory? Yeah. So I have a few shields and uh, like blades and stuff that I could sell. And then we'll hop on to the mini quest. Woo! Four ability points? Holy cow, hang on, let's do this. Assassinating enemy grants your bonus XP. Okay, so we'll get the slow mo with the arrows. Because I would like to get the slow mo chain assassination, or the rather the double chain assassination. Thought about getting this uh, the poison dart, but I already I like I like what I've got really. So nice. That'll be the next one. Man, we look awesome. All right, time to go sell things. <laughs> I'm still waking up. It's fine. All right, I had to sell Sarissa, the fancy legendary spear I had, but that's okay, because I would rather use this instead. The spear was cursed as well. But now, my hammer is legendary. I get health for critical instead of it being friggin' cursed. 59 gold. And good fortune. Mm, poor baby. All right, let's do this. Main quest. Blade of the Goddess. We were pretty far away. Oh, that's right. It was way out here. I was like, I was like, at the time, I was like, maybe I should just do it because it's so far away from anything. But yeah. I'm also not terribly far away from being able to upgrade my hidden blade all the way. I would need to go hunt a bunch of like leather skin, like like uh, hard skins or whatever. But I could get the bronze and or the is it bronze, copper. What's in the water? Oh, are those flamingos. Okay. I was like, if those are hippos, I'm about to jump into. I ain't about that. But now nah, we good, I think, maybe. There might be hippos or alligators in here. Crocodiles. Why do I want to call them alligators? Maybe not attack on sight here. Everyone and their friggin' dog knows that crocodiles live in each. I'm just over here, never fully conscious, I guess. Even that water was part of the camp. I guess it makes sense. It kind of went over. Both sides. Uh, we gonna do it. I, uh, I, uh, I found a, um, not, no, not, um, I found a suit of armor after finishing something for our son. I hope you're impressed, and I hope the helmet comes off in cutscenes. But I kind of, I'm 50-50. I'm 50-50. Kitty? No, kitty. No. Whew. Looks like these bodies didn't get cleaned up. I guess we have more important things to worry about. Hello, who are you? Can I talk to you? Okay. Whoops. <clears throat> I'm, I actually didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to get the speech thing to... <laughs> Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. Ooh, I sound cool. Sail to Alexandria. Oh man, things are getting different. Contrary to popular belief, ancient navy oarsmen consisted mainly of free men and not galley slaves. I mean, I feel like it's a better, more reliant, you know? 
paid people and they'll do the work for you. Slaves uprise. Nice ship. Trader! It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy, are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. Did he just puke? <gasps> we look so good! There, in the distance. Yeah, we cool with just hopping off things. Aya is a goddess. Aya, oh my gosh. Showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? ah! Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. <laughs> uh, let's see. Today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the sage and bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fore, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down I can't move. Us, Okay, there we go. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth. Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. Ah, la, la, la. This reminds me of a day 20 years back Oops. when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. Uh, I was a higher power yeah. than you. Oh, God. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only peek into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Wow. He speaks! The great Medjai! I, I did. We are at sea. Any greatness here is yours. Wait, uh. Ptolemites! Burn them! Ah la la! Ah la la! I don't know what I'm doing. Give <laughs> them a taste oh. of our fire! Wow, though, look at this. Why isn't this working? Ah! Well done then! Seacraft comes naturally to you! Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the men fleet. It will take some time for them to find a wreckage. Onwards! I have Captain, no my idea. shield smells like charcoal. Namastes, please, shut up! We press on! With caution, we're not yet in calmer waters. My shield smells like charcoal? What does that mean? I'm trying to, like, figure out these buttons. There's this catapult one that goes really far. Ready to fire! Like that. Look at that one. That one goes very far. Oh, no, no, no. That's not that one. Um, race. That one. Okay, you can bring it close. Okay. I felt like I couldn't bring it close. Pick up the pace! I, my, my ship in Odyssey doesn't have a bunch of fire arrows this bright. We do have fire arrows, but they're not this bright. I do like the drum, though. But that's because we have, uh, we, we get, we're a galley. So you ha we have actual oarsmen. In Odyssey, it's just the wind. There! More 
I can't see them. You guys from camera. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked yards will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. Why isn't that Dead working? Blood. Oh, that. Okay, there we go. The fleet awaits your command, Aya. Our catapults will fire upon your horde. Old RV. Don't save our ammunition, Aya. We are trying. The fleet is at your disposal. One signal, and fire will burst upon them. That one's hard. Oh, I hate when they do naval segments in games that I that you don't you're not used to it. Hopefully we live through this. There we go. Jeez. Stinks, but not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold Foxidas. Look there, at the water. Oil. We saw it, I saw it earlier. No! Two ships down? Damn Ptolemy. Did make a fine name. Oh. I'm no foxy general with bottomless Roman coppers. Those were my men! Oh, Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! I want the ocean turned dark with their blood! Damascus! Make the call! Increase the rhythm! Yes, my captain! Alala! How long does it take to pick a real catapults? A floating city! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Sick of the sight! These old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not attack the gods without calls. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Jeez. Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Oh boy. Oh. I'm not really seeing any damage that we're doing to them, though. To be honest. Oh, good. Oh, God. Galley speed! Galley speed! Arrows incoming! Wait, from where? Oh, there's a tiny one left back there. Pick up the pace! Arrows incoming! I didn't realize there was still a tiny one left. And that is the game! <laughs> the gods had such a humor, Aya! The day I met you was the day danger found me again. Ryan, you are one lucky medjai! <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? <laughs> not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now! With the roar of battle! By Zeus! I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. I think our ship was on fire. <laughs> Let's not celebrate too round the old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we're done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not dead! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the reef boats! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> 
free, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> So they said, okay, that's his job is to hold the shield up. What? Why can't we take them? For battle, we will honor our goddess. Don't tell them where we're going. I feel like we could have taken them. I don't know why all of a sudden it was like, take the rowboats and go. It was like, but we've been owning them. So we just sacrificed a whole fleet of people to get here. That's the way it is, though, with royalty. And Cleopatra knows it. She may regret the deaths, but she does not... She would not cease, you know? She she has a goal. Are we Aya now? We are Aya. Aya uses double blades. I just upgraded my setup. We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. Uh, we cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm them. Armed or not, they will recognize her. <laughs> perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Rolled up in a carpet. Classic. Classic. Ooh. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Why am I Ira? Why is Bayek over there and I am Aya? All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. It has to... Let me do the talking. It has to look like he's carrying a person, though. Also, Cleopatra is not that skinny. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my philakitai. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. Big, beefy Roman soldiers. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. Shh. We have better gods than them. <laughs> are we there yet? Don't talk, bro. I have a feeling they're gonna... Because this guy's gonna betray us at some point. I'm 100% sure. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII. His envoys from the east. With gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philarchidae. They understand the merchandise. Ah. His arm looks like it's gonna break. So we're still in Egypt, and the Romans are just hanging out here? Official business for the Pharaoh. Ah. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. I am. You should see me race. <laughs> the C1 warrior. Continue this way. What? Oh, crap. They know who we are. Guest legionary. At ease. If they recognize... By, I'm wearing like a full face covering. Julius Caesar. <gasps> Ptolemy! Oh boy. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. You are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. 
What is this? Forgive Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> my wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Uh-huh. You want to sleep with Cleopatra. And then decide <laughs> if it's worth it. Portinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great magis. And now he betrays us. Or maybe he is just trying to control Cleopatra. I don't think so. Ptolemy was the easier one to manipulate. He was just a kid. And he did he wasn't a sexy lady who could offer marriage to Julius Julius Caesar. Man, we look cool. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so we keep the helmet on in cutscenes. I don't mind. It's nice to see Bike's face, but this is a really cool suit. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards, and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. <laughs> I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. She's so tiny. She's itty bitty. I get to play Aya! All right, so no, she's she's definitely trying to show off the tomb, but it's more of a like an inspirational thing. Like I don't know, she wants to inspire Caesar or make make him remember the great sorry Cleopatra, the greatness of his predecessor. You know, whoa! It is a dead end, my lady. I know. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. Hmm. I doubt it. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Okay. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. Okay. 
Now what? I mean, I don't think I'm okay. Oh, no, man, yes, yes, yes. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Ooh, look at all that stuff Around. in there. Or, or I could break the wall. Yeah. I mean, we could just go in this way. Okay. This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. <laughs> I love how Bayek just showed up and all of a sudden I'm playing. Oh yeah, now Bayek isn't here. What the heck? Weird. That's a weird narrative dissonance. Anyway, I guess I will call it here for now. Thank you guys so much. Oh, see, look. Mm -hmm. All the rest of this is unavailable until we finish whatever we're doing. Where even? I can't even look at the map. I was like, I'd like to see. I mean, I know where we are technically, but I'd like to see in relation to other things, you know? But anyway, I think this is a good place to call it. I did have some moments of, you know, where I'm gonna have to edit out, so hopefully this is long enough and enough happened. The ship fighting was always a bit weird. It's it's an, an odyssey, it's fine, because I'm used to it, but when I'm playing Origins, and then all of a sudden they're like, have a naval battle with a fully upgraded ship. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but anyway, this is really cool. This is, uh, I really like it. I'm pretty sure this is all historical. Like, they, they make little jokes about it in the little tips or whatever, in the loading screens. About, it's not as cool as being, like, rolled up in a carpet, but you can sneak in via a hay cart or something. And I'm pretty sure that's how Cleopatra got in to meet Julius Caesar. Because uh, she couldn't get in because of the Ptolemaic guards. And so she was like, I'm gonna sneak in. She was a clever one. She was incredibly intelligent. Incredibly clever and witty. So she found a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. She was willing to sacrifice a lot to get there. But it's kind of how, like, people who are, like, royalty or, like, big leaders of, you know, big organizations or countries. It's like... They have to be willing to make hard decisions that sacrifice people's lives and live with the consequences, but also make sure those sacrifices are not in vain. So, it's not necessarily cruel. It can be cruel if you're, like, expecting it, but, like, you know, if you try to prevent it but know it will still happen, I think, you, you know, and you respect the deaths that were done in order to get you where you are now, I think that makes you a good leader, you know, to respect the people who passed to get you where you are. So, anyway, interesting stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.